Now this is Chris, KD0CQ, and welcome to my messy ham shack. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, uh, down converters and SDRs. Uh, just a little simple thing here. Uh, for about $5 off eBay, you can get a uh, Direct TV SUP 2400. Let's see if I can get it to focus in here. There we go. Uh, it's a B-band up converter module. Basically, what it does is takes the input from an LNB and brings it back, back up into the range of, a, of uh, the satellite receiver. But uh, what we're going to be doing is bypassing all the filtering in it and using it as a down converter. We're going to be mixing our signals with the 2400 megahertz, uh, the 2.4 gig local oscillator, and sending it up the line to our SDR. Uh, today, at least for this video, I'm going to be using the RTL SDR blog, uh, that little RTL SDR, and it's got the temperature controlled crystal oscillator in it, and it, it's, a, it's a nice little unit, it's got the, some heat protection, uh, it's got the little rubbery heat transfer stuff in it, and a piece of crap homebrew bias T. A uh, bunch of adapters and wire and other crap, and uh, the antenna I'm going to be using on the SDR side, the down converter side, is a WA5 VJB log periodic antenna. He's got a bunch of great antennas over there. You got to go check them out. Uh, they're pretty reasonable. Uh, just Google for his call sign, and you'll find his website. And uh, anyway, the, their stuff's a lot cheaper there than you'll find it on eBay. Uh, to, for the signal. To help us test out what we're going to be seeing on here, I'm going to be using an analog devices AD4351 breakout board. Basically, the AD4351 4351 is a voltage controlled oscillator that puts out an RF signal from uh, 35 megahertz to roughly 4.4 gigahertz, uh, give or take just a little bit. And I'm controlling that with an Arduino Uno uh, via SPI. And I've got a little uh, rotary encoder here so I can uh, tune things back and forth a little bit to kind of show you what we're doing. Anyway, I got kind of weak there. Just check that out in a minute. Anyway, I'm going to show you what we've got right now. I've got uh, 2400 megahertz, 2.4 gigs set into SDR sharp. Uh, as a frequency shift and we're showing uh, our signal being received is almost 3.5 gigahertz uh, it's a little bit off on the uh, oscillator side on this little breakout board I think I don't know it could be on the on the SDR but we'll see it's got that TCXO in it it should be pretty close it normally is the rest of the time uh, anyway let's uh, give it a little tune back and forth here you can see what we're looking at well, I need to put some debounce on that rotary, don't I? So anyway, we're putting up a 3.5 gig signal out of that, and you can see it uh, being received here. Now let me show you the, the bottom side uh, mixing, or the other way around here. Ah, quit it. Go away, Avast. Let's change the starting frequency on the... Arduino and uh, 4351 here, 1545. Okay, let's write that. And when you're going to be trying to uh, down convert frequencies below the local oscillator, uh, on this, you're just going to have to dump, get rid of this setting, because SDR sharp will flip out if you go below 2400, well, 2.4 gigs, set like this. And uh, if we do our math, uh, 2400 minus 1545 is about 855. Yeah. It's noisy down here, isn't it? Here we are. See our seats over here. Let me turn it over back to this way. Got a lot of other noise and crap in there, right there. 
anyway you can see our signal there so if you wanted to say uh, bring your you know if you've got one of these 820t dongles that uh, you know are so famous for overheating and, and they don't work above uh, I don't know 14 or 15 hundred megahertz uh, up in Inmarsat range and all the other stuff up there uh, you can down convert down into this range just kind of a little example there you'll want to get uh, probably a little better uh, bias T than what I've got going on here because you can a lot of this noise coming from it but that's how it works uh, it's a pretty simple modification I'll, uh, I'll add some pictures on the website and you can actually there's another one uh, I'll a link to where I found all this information uh, the folks originally used this to up convert uh, 70 centimeter uh, ATV signals up into the range of uh, satellite receivers and uh, you know ham uh, amateur television but uh, with a little extra bypassing here we skip all of the filters and uh, go straight to mixing the signals and and we can uh, mix on both sides so anyway, uh, that's what we've got. If you've got any more questions, give me a shout, leave a comment or something, and uh, I'll try to answer it. Uh, I'll post the mods. Uh, I, if you're not really able to do the mods, there's, it, it's all uh, SMD parts, SMT, little tiny, 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 uh, probably 0805 size, maybe 0604 on uh, some of the, the parts that you got to take off. And it's mainly just, uh, there's a few little resistors uh, and some capacitors. I think there might be a little inductor in there you got to pull off. And then just run some uh, real fine uh, jumper wire in, in three spots and do a little bit of cutting on the board. And uh, you're in business. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get that going. And I hope uh, this little video kind of gives you an idea what, what these things can do. And, uh, you know, especially for $5 or, you know, whatever it's going to cost you to get it to your house from uh, eBay or wherever you can find them. Uh, it's really an interesting little toy. It expands the range of uh, our RTL SDRs or, or really any radio uh, from, you know, that's original range all the way up to, uh, well, um, for this one, uh, say it goes up to uh, just roughly 17 100 megahertz 1.7 gigs these little devices will uh, allow us to receive up to 4.1 gigs uh, through the down conversion or if you've got one of these uh, e4000 dongles uh, this one only goes up to 2154 uh, some of them go on up to around 23 2.3 gigs but uh, you know with this one I can uh, receive up to well uh, 4.5 gigs which is not too bad, which is higher than this little thing will go. And I'm not sure there's anything right at 4.5 gigs, but uh, down below there you've got uh, ham band uh, in the 3 gig range up and down, plus a little bit of ISM stuff in there too. Uh, with some mixers uh, and uh, frequency dividers and this and that, uh, you could probably uh, go on up as high as you wanted to. Of course, you're going to need to add some amplification in there. Uh, if you're going to be doing this uh, for weak signal stuff, for satellites, I, you're going to have to have uh, an LNA in line, uh, definitely. But if you're just going to be playing around the shack, doing measurements or something like that, you're, you're fine without it. But anyway, that's it. Uh, this is Chris, KD0CQ, and uh, happy down converting.